What's going on there, guys? Earthmaster here, checking in on this Sunday evening. Valentine's Day, February 14th, 2021. It's a date, 9.06 p.m. West Coast time here in California with the latest quake on the globe, a 2.6 out here in Hawaii. We'll go ahead and jump into the uh, latest information there from the USGS in regards to earthquake activity out here around the globe. Uh, not, uh, not a whole lot of major change. There has been a little bit of earthquake activity off the Aleutian Islands up here along this uh, subducting area plate boundary uh, the Pacific Ring of Fire that is some more activity down here to the south as well in that area where we've seen that 7.7 .7 strike a few days ago of course aftershock activity will continue for quite some time there looks like uh, 5.8 being the largest quake in that uh, little aftershock sputter there uh, latest quake on the globe here, or at least in this area, five pointer over here around the Indonesia area. Well to the west here of the, uh, oh, let's see exactly where that's at here. I'm not even for sure exactly that's, oh, alrighty, yeah. This is an interesting area to watch as well because this region here can see uh, some pretty significant earthquakes. Let's see what it looks like here on this map. Yeah, historical activity just massive in this region. Uh, big ones are possible in this area as well, but for now, um, like I mentioned, just that little five-pointer in that area. But keep an eye on it, that's for sure. Uh, what else we got over here towards the west coast? Not going to do a majorly long update video tonight, folks. Uh, just going to cover just a couple things and then call it good. Uh, some movement down here south of the Salton Sea area, kind of in that swarming area. Right there on the uh, Brawley Seismic Zone. Nothing major, just a handful of small microquakes. A little bit of movement over here towards Los Angeles off the coast here of Malibu. Uh, let's see what system that's on. That's on the, uh, uh, looks like the Malibu. Well, there's a Santa Monica Fault, which is this one right here. And then this little area here, the Malibu Coast Fault Zone. A couple uh, different fault structures there that this uh, micro quake activity struck on. Kind of looks like it's right on the edge of the Santa Monica Fault uh, for those earthquakes. Also some movement along the San, San Jacinto Fault area and also west here of the San Andreas Fault. But uh, other than that, no major earthquake activity to report. There is some movement over here east of the Ridgecrest region. A couple swarms, I guess if you will. 3.6 being the largest. I guess you could probably consider those aftershocks there following that 3.6. So really not swarming. Just a little bit of moderate movement out there. Um, not even for sure what's out there besides desert. But either way, well to the east of the Ridgecrest region uh, where we've been seeing quite a bit of aftershock activity. And some more earthquake activity up here. Uh, looks like around Wilkerson and Nevada has ramped up on their earthquake activity as well just a whole lot of movement it seems like your typical movement that we would normally see on a map and a 3.2 off the coast of Oregon not a whole lot of movement uh, in the Pacific Northwest to mention looking at the uh, Yellowstone National Park overview some uh, swarming going on Little small microquakes up here around borehole and also into the uh well, looks about the central area of the park all of these little spikes on this map or on this graph there indicating uh, microquakes and whatnot uh, but nothing major to report at the moment pnsn trimmer map shows relatively quiet conditions up there around the vancouver island area just a couple small trimmers to report today and a little bit further up uh, upscale in the uh, trimmer along the uh, coastal ranges of Oregon, southwest of Eugene area. Other than that, pretty quiet, folks. All right, I um, hope everyone has a good night. Uh, I'm going to jump off here and uh, get this video uploaded. Stay safe out there and stay warm. Man, if you are <laughs> Oklahoma, Kansas, Texas, all over back there, just seeing uh, some massive cold temperatures making me jealous, let me tell you. When it's winter time, it's winter time. It's supposed to be cold, right? That looks like some brutal wind chills that they're going to be having here pretty soon or tomorrow morning, or that they have been having. 
<laughs> been going on for a while, it seems like, but uh, it's uh, it's kind of neat to see. I kind of wish I could fly back there and uh, experience winter time in Oklahoma and even Texas getting in on the action. So one of these days, it'll be a full-time thing. All right, guys, have a good night. Take care. We'll catch you a little bit later. Stay safe.